Hi, I'm very excited to have this gentleman on my right, Pete Sachs, superstar real estate agent here in Tallinn, Estonia. Myself, I'm Romain Armato, I'm an investor in the real estate property market here as well. And we're going to be sharing some value around how you can do the same, what are the tips of the trades, what to know, what are the pitfalls to avoid. So stay tuned, but before, uh, Add a like to this video, subscribe, activate the notification bells to receive the next videos with exclusive content and make sure to stick around because at the end of this video, we'll share with you an exclusive opportunity with I Yield Real Estate. Thank you, Preet, for uh, being on the channel. Thanks for having really me. Really appreciate Thanks for it. Having me. <laughs> of course, uh, lots of people know you in town, but for those who don't, uh, how would you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Preet Sachs and I work in the real estate field over here. And, um, trying to help our clients find uh, the best property yields, uh, best locations, whatever fits best for the client. You know, that's what, that's what we do. Nice man, nice man. And I uh, have to say, um, myself, I, uh, I'm here in Estonia since two years and this is one of the first person that I got in contact with. I was looking for some investment properties and I saw this guy and, and he made my life so much easier. But we're not gonna dig into this just yet. Um, can you at this stage, just, just um, for the viewers here that may be um, interested about the property market here in Estonia, can you perhaps uh, give us in, in a few bullet points uh, what are the benefits of investing here in mm -hmm. Tallinn? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd say, um, well, Estonia is a growing market, it's a developing market and um, since, since the regaining our independence in the early 90s we have really developed quite quickly hmm. and um, with also with that our uh, property market has gone up. The prices have been rising, the yields are good, like for example compared to Finland and Helsinki at the moment, our, uh, the yields last year in Helsinki were like around 3-4% over here last year, they were um, starting from 6 and seven and so on. Obviously, it depends the locations and all of that. Yeah, but um, we have the same issues in France as well. Yeah. Like, uh, we have. Uh, I'm originally from France myself, mm. and the yields we can find there is, is three to four mm. percent. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's why, because it's such a quick developing market, so the yields are really, really good at the moment. But uh, what is a plus in Estonia is that. Um, the quickness of buying a property. That is a huge, huge plus over here. It doesn't take long time at all. It, uh, it is a matter of um, days, a week, 10 days, something like that. You'll be, you'll be an owner of a property. So really, it's about the simplicity, the good yields. And um, I think it's a great opportunity. Good opportunity. And I would add on top of that, that uh, it, it's, it's uh, it's um, a country that is in favor of investors and entrepreneurs because uh, the, the fiscal system is, is one of uh, the rare ones mm. that uh, allow us to have a in tax incentive this big, uh, not being taxed on corporate income uh, for those uh, benefits that are reinvested in the companies. Uh, so therefore, we, we as investors and entrepreneurs have the opportunity to develop uh, fast speed. True, we have one of the most open economies in the EU. Like it's very welcoming uh, for foreign investors. Plus, um, the IT workers that we have here at the moment, like uh, we are so short of employees in IT business. Um, so there's more and more coming with each day. Um, they are looking over the migration numbers to be able to allow more people to come in here. Like IT workers, especially, they already they get like sort of special licenses, but uh, but uh, more people are coming by day, and um, everyone's looking for a place to live. Abs absolutely, I, I think I stumbled upon an article a few days back uh, that had a, a very interesting stat, uh, which is the amount of foreign workers that come to Estonia. And by workers, I mean uh, qualified employees that join the startup scene mm. uh, have risen by 26% year on year in 2018. Mm. Yes, that's true. So it is, it is very, very impressive. And, and to bounce off of uh, uh, the IT capital that Tallinn is obviously uh, um, getting 
um, so the, sort of the Silicon Valley EU status. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's uh, it's quite uh, stunning, and, and lots of lots of uh, of capital have been invested here to develop the brands, to develop companies such as, um, for the most popular ones, we have TransferWise, we have uh, um, Pipe, Pipe Drive, Drive we Starship, we yeah. well, Skype, Skype first of all, obviously, like, yeah. first of all, and, and so many other. Taxify, that's, that's yeah. reason in 2018, yeah. I think a staggering 100 million euros. So all these combined, it just pours cash into the, 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 the scene, more of a space of being built yeah. and, and more talent or being attracted yeah. from overseas. I want to I wanna add over here, like what's really developing quickly over here we have is infrastructure, like what, what's planned in the next sort of 10, 15 years in close future. There are huge infrastructure developments coming out, like starting first of all, um, the tunnel between the Helsinki and Tallinn, that is, that is a big thing. The longest it is one the crazy guy who's planning this, but um, I really hope that it's going to happen. Because that would really uh, quicken the transport between Tallinn and Helsinki and it would raise the property prices in Tallinn, for sure. Then we have the Rail Baltic, the high speed rail link uh, through the Baltics, uh, which is also a massive plus. Uh, that will quicken the travel times in the Baltics, also with Helsinki. And um, the tram links inside Tallinn. There are huge plans to um, expand the tram links in Tallinn, hmm. take them to different parts of the town. So yeah, what's what's going to happen in the next sort of 10, 15 years is like any other Western country, like all the property close to the good infrastructure stations, like all the rail links and tram stops and all that. Nice. That's gonna be that's gonna be. Uh, so big more b value. benefits is capital valuation, uh, 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 the European capital of the future, I would say, um, the yields that are much more interesting than what we can find back home here in France or in Helsinki and elsewhere, uh, also applies to different other countries, European countries. That's, that's impressive, the influx of, uh, of foreign investors that come back here. And also, another point that I, uh, that I, um, that I remember from, from your value here is the fact that it happens very quickly. So mm. to follow up with, uh, with this question would be um, how to purchase a property here in Estonia? How does it work? Ah, it's, it's quite simple, actually. Like, compared to what I hear um, in France and like, uh, yeah. in England, I know as well. Uh, it's way quicker, it's way quicker, it doesn't take long at all. Uh, first of all, when you found a property, yeah. um, you just need to um, uh, put a notary date, uh, talk to the notary, you need to fill up a few paperwork, um, and uh, you basically get a notary time in a matter of days, in a matter of days. You go there, uh, if everything's fine, you sign the paperwork, then you get registered as the new owner into the registry and uh, basically it's, it's, a few, it's a matter of a few days, maybe up to a month when, uh, when the old owner can uh, move out and uh, you'll be moving in. That's crazy. Yeah. So from the time, of course, first of all you need to find a property or yeah. an agent that can find you the suitable property yeah. that you're looking for and then once it's done, then you can verbally agree on a price with a seller? Yeah, for sure. Just agree, like handshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You agree on the yeah. price and then you meet yeah. directly to the yeah. notary. Yeah. yeah. Which, there which is, can happen. There is no you. written offers or anything like that. It's, it's, all, it's all verbally. This is impressive. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and, um, it's standard. <laughs> it's standard. That's <clears throat> and myself, I've invested uh, here. I've, I've followed this process as well and I can confirm that it is, guys, it is really quick. I've never experienced such thing in France. In France, just to give you a, a little bit of backstory, it takes, it takes up to three months, just, just when both parties agree on the, on the selling price and on the conditions, it still takes up to three months and even yeah. more sometimes to get the deal done. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah. The, the vendor uh, is, is agreeing, the, sell, the buyer is agreeing and, and yet, it just takes so much time. Yeah, this is bananas, yeah. and, and, and so... And add the yields, the better yields on top of that. So you'll get a quick deal with a, with a better yield, 
So it makes oh, that's it a all make sense. Enough. Plus the property overall is cheaper right. than in, uh, let's say, other Western countries, you know? Like, right. Uh, you'll get it for cheaper, it's, it's going to be a good yield, and uh, it's just a matter of finding a trustful tenant. Exactly. Which so is, which is wha what we do. <laughs> exactly. And, and I have to say as an investor that uh, you are personally in charge of the properties that we have in portfolio. Mm. And, and it just takes a matter of days to find somebody. And yep. it, it, it's good. Um, I was going to ask you something. Uh, you were saying about the prices, the attractiveness of the, of the prices. Mm -hmm. So for the investors that are watching us, um, what type of prices are we looking for here? What, what should they expect? How, with, let's say, how much money would they, would they, would they need to buy uh, an investment property? Well, it depends what you, what you want for. Because, um, like, uh, let's say studio flats, uh, one, one room over here. Um, you'll, you'll get one for around 50,000, around the 50,000 number mark. Um, like a two, two room option. Um, let's say starting from uh, 40 square meter, um, it depends. The prices are ranging obviously uh, depending on the area, if you want town center or the hot regions in Tallinn. Um, they'll be starting, let's say, from like 80,000 euros, around that. Mm. Obviously it depends from the size and uh, the location and uh, the situation of the whole thing. But, uh, but starting from like around that, I'd say you start getting uh, decent shapes and uh, renovated flats, like starting from 80,000 80, plus. Mm, interesting, and interesting. And yeah. That makes sense with... with, uh, with For what investment I purposes, I think yeah. the best would be like a studio flat or, like or, I did. A, or a two room. Yeah, exactly like you did. The yields are the best over there, for sure. So it, it's interesting... Because they are the hottest uh, options. That's what the people want the most in the rental markets. Because yes. usually they're like professional couple or a professional single person, you know, right. so um, they are looking for, for smaller space rather than uh, an 80 square meter plus uh, three bedroom flat, you know, so yeah. Yeah, that, make, that makes sense and um, myself having a background into uh, real estate investment consultancy, uh, I often advise to look for an area where it's very central, where it's very convenient, where there are everything, the shops, the schools yeah. and everything. Logistically. Logistically well, well and located. at the same time look around those those areas so that you that, that still has some some uh, you know uh, conveniences around but that's a little bit outside of the main touristic mm. attractions mm. where the prices are blowing up where you still can find some some uh, Absolutely. some opportunities Absolutely. like this and, and in terms of area uh, i've invested myself in, in an area called mustamaki mm -hmm. sorry for the accent but uh, it's it pretty good is it <laughs> yeah i know i know uh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's getting better <laughs> so um so for those who don't know it's it's uh, located near technopol which is uh, the area where it's supposed to be the Silicon Valley <coughs> EU, mm. where we have all those companies uh, set up. So it, it's a lot of... And it's uh, close to the university. And it's close to... A to top the university, university in Tallinn and Estonia, yeah. So try to identify some areas where, uh, of course, universities, where there's uh, big companies that, that hire uh, lots of people on payroll and, and invest in those places because they are the ones that are attractive and uh, the ones that are a safe bet for the future yeah for sure so we, we've shared some some good content um what about the pitfalls what what can go wrong when buying a property in estonia what are the things you know to be looking out for like when we're investors um difficult question difficult answer yeah <laughs> for sure uh what to look after well First of all, the tenant, like especially if you're a foreign investor and you'll be living abroad, you, you won't really know over there, you know, like who's the person who's renting it and what's actually happening there. So obviously that's for us to, to take the load, you know, and we, we are the responsible for this situation. So first of all, very important to find a trustful tenant, hmm. a responsible one, you know, professional, who's always paying on time, not, no, no problems really, that's what you, you don't need that, you know. 
with the credential, with the secure yeah. situation, yeah. with the yeah. credential, with so the deposits. So always, deposit always you do the background checks on the on the tenant, uh, look in every register that's possible, and like there's a standard procedure for that. Financial situation, background yeah. checks, everything's yeah, registered sure. here in Estonia, which is also yeah. another good point. Yeah. Is Easy that everything is online, that. everything's transparent, so we know exactly what's the situation. Uh, if it's been a felon before, and, and it's it's all uh, visible at one blink of an eye, which yeah. which I really like. Another another thing that uh, we need to look for. Uh, well, it doesn't really depend maybe on the Estonian case at the moment, because uh, what can uh, affect our economy is the outside reasons, really, what's happening in the world, you know. So the because um, inside Estonia at the moment we we are doing all right. So yeah. Compared to the 2008 uh, financial crashes, like um, over here, because we had a, we had a crash uh, because our yeah, banks like, uh, our banks were lending countries. out money really easily, and uh, this bubble just uh, collapsed in the end. But surprised today, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously the outside economic reasons as well. So Lots of properties just came on sale. crashing down on us as well. Lots of properties on sale. Then. Mm, yeah. So that's not the case anymore. Like yeah. The banks are not uh, they're responsible now these days over here. Yeah. Uh, so, but you never know what's going to happen in the world, you know, so the outside economical can affect us, you know, so, but that will yeah, affect the whole world then, you know, like, we, we are not in control of that, so, so th that might yeah. happen, you never know, but hopefully won't. <laughs> yeah, outside uh, external factors are already, mm. already good things to be taken care into consideration, and, and people think, talk of the crisis, uh, it's supposed to hit this year, it mm. was supposed to hit last year, mm. it was supposed yeah. to hit in, in 2017. It yeah. When it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit, I mean, we do not have a, a, a crystal bubble, we, we yeah. cannot predict these kinds of things. And yes, uh, economic downfall will happen, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of cycles anyway. Yeah, it's a cycle. But exactly. if that moment happens, um, it will be properties on sale, to be honest. Yeah, it's an sure. opportunity. For sure. It's sad to for be sure. thinking this. Because they, they'll be getting only cheaper then <laughs> in that case. Exactly. A and plus, as an investor, what I like is I know for a fact that, uh, that uh, the economy is what it is. And therefore, I will not speculate with my own money. I will just purchase assets that, uh, yeah, that can be solid and that generates yields yep. and rent. And, and the rent is decorrelated with the value of the property. Let's say if the crisis hits, then prices can go down for sure, yeah, yeah. but I won't be cut off with my pants down because I don't need that money. I've invested only what I'm capable of uh, and, and, and the rentals just keep hitting the accounts. Yeah, so absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, uh, that's what I like about Estonia as well is yeah, being the mm. cap a very stable environment, secure, yeah. Yeah. that's promising and to the future and, and that offers stable income with some new people getting in. Absolutely. And there's so many options to buy because um, the building numbers are, are really, really high. Like they've actually put a stop, uh, a little stop for new developments because uh, there was already too many coming on and people are coming up with some crazy ideas to like build some interesting, interesting stuff. So they're letting it a bit cool down because there is so much to choose from right now on the property market and uh, new buildings everywhere. <laughs> you just see buildings springing up on every corner of the street. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to choose from. Lot, lots of options available out yeah. there. Yeah. Good up quality. and coming areas. Up there's, and coming there's areas. Good up and coming areas on the seaside that are being uh, created out uh, like new hubs, creative hubs that we have right now. Kalamaya is one of the hottest districts. Yeah. So now they are developing out another another one exactly like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's on top of a peninsula, so it's close to the seaside. There's already new houses coming up there. Like it's a very beautiful area once nice. uh, once it's gonna get built out like it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. So to summarize this point, the, the things that we should be watching for is do not invest to speculate, but invest in some securities mm. and some properties that uh, can find a tenant, regardless of the political uh, and economic situation. Second, um, there are lots of buildings being built, so we really need to be careful in the, s in the selection of those buildings because obviously there are buildings that are good construction, there are buildings that are less good. Yeah, for sure, absolutely.
different developers have different quality. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's so one thing for sure. This, this is why a guy like this on your side will, will help you understand where to put your money basically and, and, and have this, uh, this growing capital over the time in some good solutions. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the main important thing, yeah. Because the house where you're investing in it needs to be, it needs to be fit. It needs to be fit. It, you can't have uh, an investment come in uh, in like a year or two's time where you have to invest money into renovating, for example. So what we're looking for is a fully renovated house uh, that keeps an en keeps the energy, obviously, of the cold winters over here. So the utility bills wouldn't be that high in the winter times. That's also important and when people are looking for a rental flat. Over here in the winter times, it might get might get cold, you know. Absolutely. So uh, you want you want the bills to be not that high. So yeah. Good quality construction with mm. uh, with some some. Yeah. So isolation with the latest yep. norms and, and this is. This what is I have to add here is that from uh, from next year the, there's going to be a new law. They um, all the new buildings they have to be A energy class, so they have to be well insulated, and they have to keep uh, keep the heat in them, you know. So. Mm. So yeah, it's going to raise the standards. Uh, yeah, perhaps it's going to yeah. raise the price as well. In a little bit, for yeah. sure, for sure. Hmm, good to but know. the quality, the quality of the uh, the houses and the flats will uh, will be will be better. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks. And and just before we wrap it up here, um, when you're deal when you're dealing with foreign investors, what what are the main challenges that they have? Obviously, me, I have a set of challenges. You know, before I came here, had you know, lots of concerns, where to buy, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, mm. in your experience uh, dealing with uh, Finnish investors, mm. uh, what are their main concerns before, yeah? Uh, you mean on their side or? or yes, on their side, on yes. Their what side. are their well, biggest Well, first of all, obviously, it's, it's hard to find a trustworthy person, maybe in the beginning for them. Hmm. So it's good to have someone to, to, to be trustworthy, you know, like to know he knows the local environment and, uh, and what's happening over here overall. So obviously that, and um, yeah, you need to, he needs to know like where to invest. Obviously th that's why you yeah. need the person over here on the spot. Cause um, yeah. It's so easy to lose money in real estate. Like you, yeah, when you don't absolutely. know the environment, you, you just buy a piece of property absolutely. where the, the, the demand for, for rents is not uh, mm. well valued, then you're screwed, you lose your money. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? No, that's that's perfect value. I think, uh, and I can add on top is, is um, um, the fiscal environment, the, the tax environment also is, is one big one big uh, subject because you you don't know how you're gonna get cooked, so to speak. Yes. You, yeah, yeah, for it, sure. It's one thing for to sure. have it census, but when you're a foreign buyer, you don't know how it works precisely. So you need to have someone you trust, someone that's uh, of of uh, legal advice. And, and that can help you with these with these topics. Uh, so therefore, you can understand exactly uh, what's the money that is going to be left in your pocket. What's the ROI on investment? Yeah, taking you through the whole process and translating you the whole thing. Obviously, it's very important. Plus, in the notaries, once we get there to sign the paperwork and stuff, there's um, there's always always a translator for you. Whatever language you speak, hmm. there's always a translator who's translating you the the document. And I like those guys because they, they have the same position as in France, uh, which is they are uh, unbiased. They protect the seller just as well as the buyer. And that's what they're supposed to do. Mm. They're doing a remarkable job. They mm. would no, never make yeah. a, a transaction go through uh, if it doesn't benefit both parties. Exactly. Involved, they, can, so. they can stop the deal yeah. on the spot. If, uh, if they see there's something wrong with it, they, they'll stop it like this incidents in the past where, where they have done it, the notaries. And uh, so, yeah, it adds, adds the trust from their side as well a little bit to the situation. So, so if, if anything is wrong and they see it, they, uh, they, they won't let the deal go through. Like. Nice. So to wrap this up, uh, what would you recommend to a foreign buyer, an investor, uh, in order to successfully purchase or invest in property here in Estonia? What do they need to do? Well, get in contact first of all. They need to. Yeah. They need to come over. I mean, uh, it's it's best to come over to see everything with your own eyes. Um, we can explain how's uh, how's the close future gonna look like in Tallinn. Like, uh, there's gonna be lots of uh, developments, lots of uh, infrastructure developments. Uh, many people have already entered the market. Uh, lots of Finnish people over here who who buy property. 
hmm. uh, very, very many. Um, yeah, it's good to see with your own eyes, absolutely. Come and see it yourself, because uh, the, the city has changed a lot since, uh, since let's say, a couple of decades back. Yeah. And uh, it's very interesting times, it's interesting it's times. Man, this very city is times. beautiful, I have to say. It's modern, and mm. at the same time, there is this this historical feel with medieval the old town. medieval mm. town. It mixes well with the, it the blends surrounding areas. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, and, and, and also, it, it feels so secure to be mm. in this city. Yeah, I never watch over the shoulder, mm. and it's like never yeah, no nowhere different. else. Compared to when I was living in London, uh, yeah, it's, it's very different. Tell us about it, man. Yeah, it's, 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 it's oh, it's a whole different story. Yeah. So, so your advice would be to come over. Uh, meet some professionals that know their stuff. Do not try to uh, do it on your own unless you're willing to uh, to lose some money. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So what what we can offer here is to download the checklist that's uh, in description below. So it will basically tell you the in and outs of an investment that you helped me make, mm -hmm. and that's fifty two thousand euros. And and I will break down in this checklist. Uh, the exact costs, what's involved, what we need to be taken care of in order to understand the, the final yield. And we'll also shoot you an opportunity, a direct opportunity to invest your money securely in less than seven days in the real estate rental property market. It rental. really is that quick. <laughs> Thanks Brilliant. so much for your no participation. Thank you. It's Thank a pleasure you. working with you, man. Same over here, same over here. And download the checklist now. Value information. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.